Sources tell ABC News four people have been killed in the shooting at the high school in the city of Winder, about 45 miles northeast of Atlanta. At least nine others were taken to the hospital with injuries. The suspect is alive and we're told in custody. Law enforcement are investigating the shooting this morning at Appalachia High School. Authorities responded to the scene for a reported active shooter. The sheriff, again, confirming now one suspect in custody. Unclear if that suspect is a student or someone else. Uh, meanwhile, President Biden issuing a statement saying, in part, Jill and I are mourning the deaths of those whose lives were cut short due to more senseless gun violence and thinking of all of the survivors whose lives are forever changed. We'll have much more. When um, the time was finally up, we went um, to the hallway that it happened in, and that's when I saw like my math teacher, and um, he was all covered. I saw blood everywhere. Um, it was and you, you've shared videos with us um, showing the hallway where you guys were working, walking as you were evacuating. Describe, uh, our viewers can't see the video right now, but describe to us what you just showed us in those videos. Um, it was basically my math teacher, just a white cover was on top of him. But um, in the video that you about to see, it's like it blood there, but it was really quick. Like everybody was in a rush trying to get out math teacher just a white cover was on top of him my math teacher just a white cover was on top of him and then um our math teacher got shot and it was he was just laying there like in blood and everything it was he was just laying there like in blood and everything it was he was just laying there like in blood and everything that's when i saw like my math teacher and um he was all covered i saw blood everywhere he was all covered he was all covered it was he was just laying there like in blood and everything he was all covered it was he was just laying there like in blood and everything he was all covered it was he was just laying there like in blood and everything i felt my life flash before my eyes literally did you hear the gunshots at all uh, yeah i was in the hallway so um you could hear them like bang on the lockers and stuff and then my teacher she unfortunately she like left the classroom but came back but she had like fallen something happened and she screamed at us and we were in a science classroom so there's lab tables so we all like book it for the lab tables she closed the door turns off the lights and um you could hear them rattle the door and then a couple them as in the gun gunmen or I police so well it had just police i didn't hear police shouting until like five minutes later ten minutes later because we heard the sirens first and then like a couple moments later you heard like police police sheriff and then um uh, you could hear like before the police arrived it was like it didn't sound like a gun but it sounded like i was saying like a trash like a metal trash can like going choo, choo, choo. and um you could hear the kids screaming down my hallway and then you heard more like of like hitting the lockers and stuff and then eventually the police came and walking out you could see like what had happened and then they took us off to the football field um what grade are you in Alrighty. Thank you guys so much. I know it has been a very, very long day for you guys. You guys have been listening to people who've been out on the football field for about four hours. Tom, Christine, they're still trying to process it. I think it's still haven't really sunken in um, what it is, but there are a lot of grateful parents. It was a drill. Then they ended up saying it wasn't a drill no more. And then it I immediately texted my dad and I was just like, I don't know if this is a drill. I'm really scared. It was a drill. Then they ended up saying it wasn't a drill no more. And then it I immediately texted my dad and I was just like, I don't know if this is a drill. I'm really scared. It was for real. Next thing you know it, we heard people, people were sending messages to each other saying it's not a drill. Um, it's an actual shooting. Be careful and, you know, stay safe. And then when I figured it out, I texted my mom. My mom had told me I love you and I was scared because I was like, what if I never see my parents again? So I was crying, trying to make sure I was like, to stay safe. Like, I was scared, frightened. I was scared I was going to die, to be honest. And when I heard hard lockdown, I knew it wasn't a drill. I, um, and I just kept my feet up and I prayed and I closed my eyes and... Uh, Charlene says she was in the classroom with a substitute teacher with other students when they started hearing gunshots. Um, tell me, how did all of that play out? I was just like doing my work and um, like so minutes after 
like I heard some gunshots and it appeared to be like they were like 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 that you know this is serious so that's whenever like we all like shook to the corner and somebody closed the door I don't know who closed the door but somebody closed the door and then they started stacking up tables like on top of the so barricading the door yes. like barricading like keeping it safe and after that like the announcements came on and that's when like they were like they were like it's a lot hard lockdown intruder drill lot hard lockdown intruder drill lot hard lockdown intruder drill and then we were all like like kids started crying kids started freaking out like everybody was just there like and we were just like all like laying down and i was just telling everybody like it's okay like god got us like we're gonna be okay like nothing's gonna happen